Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Today we have a special video for you guys. We're gonna be talking about Meta Connect and what does it mean for us as developers, right? Especially web developers. So let's get started. So it's no secret, guys. You guys know I love XR development, right? Anything that has to do with VR, MR, AR, right? I'm in that whole world, that whole ecosystem. And it's because I believe this is the future. The same way how we had TVs, then from there we had a computer, then from there we had laptops, then from there we had cell phones, and then cell phones are pretty much computers now that we walk around with, right? And this is something that you definitely do not want to get left behind on, okay? This is the future, guys. So you got to pay attention to some of the moves that some of these big companies are doing. Of course, we've seen Apple coming out with the Vision Pro pretty soon next year. And then now we're going to have the Meta Quest 3, which is one of the announcements that Mark Zuckerberg did on Connect 2023. We are incredibly proud to introduce Quest 3, the first mainstream mixed reality headset. <laughs> Quest 3 is it's the most powerful headset that we have ever shipped and it allows you to blend the physical and digital worlds together. The MetaQuest 3 has a better chip, more powerful, better displays, better cameras for pass-through views, right? So now we actually get full color and better high quality uh, video when we're actually having our headset. So what does that mean for us, right? We can now go in and be able to do things where you can have like mixed reality games or mixed reality experiences. I mean, imagine you on a flight with your headset on, you can code, right? And you have multiple screens in the air floating around where you can see, hey, I got my view for my VS code. I have my view for website that I'm building and maybe have a view of Twitter on the side. Now you can multitask and, and there's so many different use cases that you can use this for uh, besides just games and, and, you know, little things like that. But this is something that's going to be very useful for a lot of people. Now, the next feature is Augment that they announced, and this is going to be pretty damn cool because what this is going to allow us to do is place 3D objects within our space of our homes, our offices, um, you know, maybe a location, right? Maybe like a restaurant, maybe a museum, right? Uh, knowing where things are being placed and, and keeping it there, right? Keeping it persistent. So I give you an example. Let's say we can create an application for YouTubers to be able to see their subscribers account. Okay. And see how many people have subscribed to the channel. So that's like a service that we can create and we can make some money with, right? Um, then you also have things like maybe Shopify, uh, allowing a store owner to connect to the Shopify store and be able to see a dashboard on their wall of all the sales and all the top items that they're able to sell or they are selling live, right? So again, yes, these things are going to be in a mixture between software, but also to think about all the possibilities that we're going to be able to have now between this software this metaverse and also to just the web in general right remember all of this is is just a crud this is the same thing that we're we've been doing since like god knows how long right as web developers but now we're also going to be able to do it in this new 3d environment or you know metaverse or whatever you want to call it and of course you know they had to sprinkle a little bit of ai in there right so yeah man they got a new ai studio and it's actually pretty cool it seems pretty legit as far as like uh the vision of what they are planning to do with this new ai tools that they're coming out with and again i mean we could see this video here <laughs> well now you can just drop the the dungeon master into one of your chats and uh let's check this guy out let's get medieval player <laughs> I mean, who hasn't wanted to play a text, you know, adventure game with Snoop Dogg? Um, we've, we're also very focused on, um, on giving all of you the ability to build AIs too. Um, so we've been creating something that we call AI Studio. And it is a platform for building um, these kind of AIs. And we're starting by opening up the API for integrating into our messaging apps to start. 
and that's gonna open in the coming weeks. We are also building a sandbox so that you know, people who don't code can also train AIs like this, and we're working on that and iterating on it, and we hope to have that out sometime early next year. And I really like the approach that Meta is taking with AI, where they're not trying to be like the overlord, know all, the god AI. No, what they're trying to do is create AI that can be trained by anyone, right? Um, can be used in multiple scenarios. Again, for example, let's say you are a chef, you want to go in and help people, you know, cook whatever, cook some type of recipe. You could create an AI of yourself, right? And in your own tone, teach the person how to cook, right? Or give them the recipes, right? Um, another thing that you can actually do is let's say you are a celebrity. Now you could license your voice or license your your likeness right what you look like and use some of these ais and services from from meta right um to be able to have like a closer connection to your uh followers your fans right i mean imagine some dude that's a super fan of beyonce and he, i don't know why he would want to go in and talk to beyonce have beyonce tuck them to sleep right and be like beyonce can you please bring me a bedtime story right now beyonce can go in and charge you five dollars for for that you know what i'm saying so using uh facebook ai studio right um and again even for businesses right uh someone has a question right you feed it all of the information about the business so when someone comes in and they send a message on facebook chat or whatsapp they can go in and interact with the business and this AI can pretty much answer whatever question they have. You get what I'm saying? So they don't even need a customer service person to be there 24 seven. Hey, I got my AI that knows everything about the business, right? So yeah, this is something pretty damn cool. I mean, this is just the beginning. We can also take a look at what we have right here with um, this podcast that Mark Zuckerberg did, uh, you know, initially is to, to promote their new meta quest three but also two to show all of the new things that they're working on um but this is actually pretty damn cool right i don't know if you guys follow lex freeman go check out his podcast with mark zuckerberg this is something that's very interesting but as you can see what they're doing here is they have a scan of the person right and from there using the meta quest pro right if i'm not mistaken uh, they're able to track the emotions of the eyes, the way how the person moves, right? The little things, the little body gestures, etc. Right? Uh, but what's really cool is the fact that you know this looks pretty damn real, and it's because it's getting a, a high fidelity scan of the person. Like this is the future, guys. I was telling you guys this, right? Ten months ago, a year and a half ago, people were like, "Yo, I don't know about this." I'm telling you, this is the future. Now not only can you use some of this technology but imagine this right tinder right you know you got tinder and you have all these other apps you can now create the competitors to them by using this technology and basically improving on what they have uh, out there for example like you want to go and date somebody you want to know how they look like yo let me see your whole 3d scan ma you know what i'm saying let me see what you got back there you're doing a whole 360 checking the whole good seeing what you know what i mean if you think instagram it, it's crazy and tiktok is crazy wait until this 3d scans get out here and everyone gets access to this right this right here alone just as a business someone could come in and cash in just on the fact that you can go and set this on every morning say hey do you want to get a 3d scan of yourself right and sell that as a service hey 50 dollars, 75 dollars right because people are going to want to have this okay now again going to celebrities now you can go in and get scanned and you know one of the things that they have been mentioning is having like holograms right uh we're not there yet where you know you're gonna see a hologram just projecting on your room for now but we're going to have this in the virtual space right when you put your meta quest pro i could come home and same way how you know in halo there was a cortana what up cortana can 
yo, order me some, some, you know, Dunkin' Donuts and some tacos from Taco Bell. I don't know why you would mix that, but you go order whatever you want from Cortana and, you know, uh, hey, Siri, what up? And Siri comes through, twerks a little bit, and you're like, yo, what up, ma? Go order me some, you know, some tacos from uh, Chipotle, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have that. Or having Beyonce there in the corner just dancing for no reason or you know what i mean you come home and, and you see sonic the hedgehog and, and and pikachu jumping on your couch like this is the future this is where we're going okay you like it or not right now of course they also announced um their new glasses uh from ray-bans and i think that collaboration between ray-bans and meta is very important right now all you could really do is take a picture or take a video um through the glasses right you also have the ai so you could ask the ai certain uh, messages um or information right so you can do that but that's just leading up to the future right where you won't need this big ass headset you're just gonna go in and have small little slick you know glasses where you could just come through and be like hey man what up what's that <laughs> look at that <laughs> so at the end of the day you know what i mean like this is this is the world man that we live in now okay you know if you're not part of this you're gonna get left behind because um there's going to be a space for the 2d environments right uh something like tv or you know um something like a computer and things like that it's definitely always going to be a, a space for that um but this is going to basically birth new industries and, and new opportunities where you know you might be just a regular dude making websites but you might just be killing it in the metaverse right i mean look at what happened years ago with the whole nft run that was a whole year two years where there's people that made millions of dollars right in a year to two years run right this is going to happen the same way with this okay um, basically there's going to be a rush and this is why we started already talking about XR development a year ago. We set it up now where now we're showing you how to do web XR, but in the future, we want to go in and integrate everything that has to do with XR development, right? Web XR is the way to introduce you guys to doing this type of content and this type of, uh, development. But in reality, you know, you're going to have to go deeper, go into unity, go into unreal engine um use some of the online tools to create you know different 3d objects etc like you're gonna have to go down that road at some point believe it or not if you're gonna go on this road of xr development you're gonna have to go down that road at some point now of course you don't have to learn everything right and this is why i tell people learn gradually learn as you need to right so right now if all you're learning how to do is web xr you're learning some you know 3js um um maybe you know a frame right like stay with that for now build yourself with that and then from there jump into the next things as you need to right as new opportunities pop up but again guys you know there's a lot of cool things happening in xr if you're not part of it i don't know what you're doing with yourself guys if you are a member of codingphase.com or if you're not a member of codingphase.com go check out codingphase.com click on the career paths check out the xr uh developer path in there and you know we're gonna be adding more courses more things as we go right like this is not gonna be a you know one month journey this is where we're going from now to the future right so there's gonna be a whole bunch of courses being added to that you know everything from blender right how to use it as a developer i'm not telling you to be a 3d artist it's the same way how i tell you guys to learn photoshop not to be a, a designer or learn figma not to be a web designer or ui ux designer whatever it's to know your way around the tools because there's going to be times that you're going to need to know about them okay so again there's a lot of cool stuff happening at coding phase definitely go check it out uh, links in the description if you want to get that 20 to 40 percent off uh go through there okay um but yeah man there's a lot of cool stuff that happened in meta connect definitely recommend for you guys to watch the whole event uh, but these are the things that i'm excited about 
all right guys so anyways man wanted to share a little bit about this with you guys you guys tell me what you guys think in the comment section and yeah i'll see you guys later take care peace